Right, what's on the drive here then? We've got 4x4 Defender, is that Defender? Disco? It's not there. Some units behind. Look at all the vehicles along here. There it is. Let's box this in. Let's box this in. Right then, you secure the truck. Is it open? Oh, Ooh. bonus, the keys in it. No keys. It's very common when you turn up and you've got big pieces of machinery like trucks, tractor units, combine harvesters, anything. People leave them open. People aren't going to steal them. It's not the everyday thing people are going to steal. And even if you do steal it, you're a big target going down the road. Nothing, H? No. Nothing at all. Jump down in H. Right, if you see a bloke, Paul Dixon, that's the bloke we're after. Or even better, Tony Jenkins. You can either stand here, sit in the cab, up to you, mate. Um, where do we start? We'll have a look down here first, H. All right, mate, do you know where Paul Dixon is? Yeah, he's down at the bottom there. Is he? Cheers. All right, mate, do you know where Paul Dixon? Paul Dixon? All right, cheers. Paul Dixon? Yeah. Paul Dixon, mate. Right, we've yeah. got a repossession order for the tractor unit. Scan you. 08 plate. No, nah, you, you can't have. That's mine. Now we've got a repossession order for it. It's mine. You're only the operator. It's no, Tony I, Jenkins. I, I, paid, I paid Tony Jenkins for it. Yeah, but Tony Jenkins has got it on finance. No, he hasn't. It's, it's mine. It's all paid for. No, this is a finance agreement. It Tony isn't. Jenkins. Tony uh, Jenkins. I'm sorry, it isn't. You, you do whatever you want, but just leave my truck where it is. I'm not interested. I paid for that truck. That's my truck. That's the paperwork there saying that it's on finance and we've got a repossession order on it. And that is for Tony Jenkins. Yeah, but it's my truck. It's in my name and everything. It's not... No, it's the not operator's license is. Yeah, it's my truck. I pay him yeah, like every month. Yeah, but that's what I mean. You're paying him every month. Yeah. But... He's actually had it on finance. Well, no, he owns it. He's told he doesn't me he own owns it. it. He doesn't own it. It's definitely not for repossession. We've got to take it today. The truck isn't going anywhere. I've got the keys for it, and you're not having it. End of. Well, we'll call a low loader in then. Do, what, it do, up. What, do whatever you want. I'll drive straight over you. You won't. We, we've got another agent guard in the truck. Well, we'll call I don't, a low don't loader. care who you've got here. You can have all the men in the world. You're not taking my truck from here. That's my truck. I'll speak to him and they'll sort this out. It isn't your truck to take. So if you've got an army here, you're still not having well, it. Well, I'm going to call a low loader in there. You can do whatever you want. I'll just call him now. We'll get this sorted. But you're not having the truck. Decided to let H know what was going on whilst he called Tony. <laughs> Tony, I've got some monkeys up here trying to repossess this wagon. And they're saying that you've got it on finance. You told me you owned the bloody thing. <laughs> Well, they've got two two people here that say they're taking it. They've blocked it in. I want to use it. Where are you? Where where are you? I'm at home. Well, get your ass up here and sort it out. This isn't my bloody problem. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'll see you up here in ten minutes. And you best sort this out because they're not taking the truck. He's, he's not playing ball. Okay. Okay. Bloke's had it on finance. Probably hasn't kept up the payments, and this poor sod's been paying him. So he's paid. <laughs> I bet he is. It's so I'm gonna have to call a low loader in. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna give us keys. In cases like this, I always have a low loader on standby. It's nice to get the keys and everything's peaceful, but I didn't know like that was gonna happen. So I needed to get Stu in pretty quick. You're not you're not having it. End of. How have you got in there? It's open. It's open, he ain't gonna go anywhere. Get out and drop. Isn't Get out of the truck or I'm going to pull you out. Mate, you're not going to pull him out. Yes, I will pull him out. Don't stand there looking like you're going to intimidate me. Because you're not. Mate, just get, no, no, get out of the truck now. Get out. Get out of the truck. Get out of the truck. You ain't getting anywhere. Don't Get out. mess around, all right? Don't you fucking push me. All right, isn't going to go anywhere. Get out of the truck. I'm guessing he wants me to get out of the vehicle. He's got no chance. My job is to secure it. That's what I'm doing. Get out! Anything going to happen? Get out of what? Get out of my truck! 
One of these guys has got a broken hand and he's even still going for it. Get off him. All right, mate. We're arguing by the truck. Next thing we know, two lads come flying around the corner like Starsky and Hutch. H has got two of them, got one in from the headlock. I've got one of them on the floor. It's just all kicking Where off. Where the fuck is Tony? Go tell you what, I'm going to fucking push me. This one's been a bit chilled at the minute, but it won't last. This dude's punching him in his throat. Bit of dirty fighting there. Now we're up through, mate. It was a bit of a dirty fight here. He kept trying to grab my throat, kept trying to punch me in the throat. I mean, there's only so much you can take. I'm gonna fucking phone Tony now. Luckily, the old boy starts huffing and puffing, gets on the phone to Tony. Tony, where the fucking hell are you? Right, lads. Get on that and fuck off. It's not your argument, right? Is it? No. Right, get on your feet and go, lads. Take the key. Okay? Oh, fuck off. No, get here. Get here. I'm not having it. Mad, isn't he? He's got a lot of hot. And there's two girlfriends that come out as well. <laughs> Maybe even the one with the broken wrist is trying to get involved. Try to lift things back up. Yeah. That's what I Just hold on. See you in a minute. Thanks, lads. They're just idiots. I've paid for it. But they're not going to take it, so. Whatever they think, they're not having it. Right up. Back seven, boys. Welcome. Okay, fuck you. See you later. All right. Kicks off again, it kicks off again. We're just going to have to wait for a low loader. Obviously, we're taking their vehicle so they don't want to let us, but we've handled worse. We look at the fight, you can see there's a bit of pushing and shoving. Bit of dirty fight in there, but as I say, we've had worse. Yeah. Best thing you can do is ring Tony again. I phoned him. Well, ring him again. Stop telling me what to do, mate. Don't know who the fuck you think you are. Hi, mate. Where are you? I'm just going to pick a sandwich up. Do you want one? No, I don't want a sandwich. Don't be an asshole. Get here. It's not time to have a bloody sandwich. Get here and sort this crap out. No, don't you come up here with bloody sauce all over your chin. Get here now. You've been on your way ten minutes. He's on his way. You've heard him. Truck's still going either way. It's not going. It is going. Hey, it isn't going. He'll come up here. He He's got it sorted. Yeah. Where have you been? Is that Tony? Yeah. It's sorted. Let me get the paperwork, okay? It's a mistake with the paperwork. What, what can be the mistake? If they say it's on finance and they've got it on finance, it's all sorted, mate. We'll sort it out. I'll listen to what this guy's got to say. Won't make a blind bit of difference. This vehicle's going to go. Are you Tony Jenkins? Yes, I am. All right, there's your agreement, bus repossession order. Right. For the scanner. Right. Well, six what's... months in arrears. Give me a oh, sort out, another week. You can't, it's up for repossession. Yeah. Unless you can pay seven grand. Tony, you've told me that you've paid for the, this was your truck and I've paid you. So what have you done with my money? There's just got to be some mix up with the, the finance. Sort out now. Well, get it sorted out. Get on the phone or something. Not standing there like a pudding. You say you can sort it. Just get it sorted out. I use this truck every day. Well, we'll, we'll sort something out. We'll sort it. Come on then. All right. Can I have a word? Yeah, of course you can. So, is there anything we can do at all? No, there's not, mate. Nothing at all. No. No bit of extra time just to sort it out. You, haven't, you, even, you haven't even told him, have you? It's on no. finance. It's one of them, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's been up for repossession for ages. You've changed addresses twice, haven't you? No one knows where you live in. Just we only found this from your operator's license. If the finance company give you any more, this is just going to disappear again. So if you take it, though, it's just going to be well racked off about it. And but 
it's just going to make it worse, isn't it? Yeah, but the thing is, that's not our problem. You've took out an agreement with him. He's been paying you. What have you done with the money? Spent it? Well, yeah. Yeah, but you haven't paid the finance, have you? Yeah, but I can sort someone out, can't we? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You've took the money. You've, you haven't sorted out the truck. Can't you ring them there and ask them? No, you no chance. Because oh. so they're saying no. You can't take it. He's going to be gutted. He needs it. Well, you better go and have a chat with him, haven't you? And tell him it's going. Mate, just wait a minute. Sorted? No, it looks like it's got to go, mate. Well, how can it go? I've given you money. Mate, he's still got his four, four before. Which way did he come in? Down there, wasn't it? Right, he's still got his four before. Whatever you do, don't let him leave a trunk. Don't let him follow me. I've okay. just spent about four and a half grand on it, on the service and stuff. You can't do that. It's really difficult. I mean, I've stopped. I've stopped. Difficult! Away. Tell you what, you're just unbelievable, you are. Unbelievable. What can I say? What can I say? Oh, beautiful. He's come down the back way. Yeah. Puts a bit of slack. I can't do it, mate. I can't do it. How much slack have you had already? A spare key. There was no keys. Didn't want another confrontation while Paul and Tony are arguing. Let's get the vehicle lifted. H crew a minute. Do you know the directions for a low loader a minute? H was doing a good job keeping them distracted. It gave me the opportunity to go and get the four before. Shout if he comes out. If anyone starts any funny business, right? I'm going to say I'm just going to go and get the low loader. OK? All right. Lads, just move away a bit. I've just got to go and get the low loader. Give him directions. I wonder if this guy knows the four before is up for repo as well. He's parked on the other side of the farm, so I think he does. But he's probably got other things on his mind. Mate, I, should have, I should have listened to what other people said about you. You're just so frigging unreliable. I pay you because it's easier for me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I know I'm paying you over the odds for it as well, and now I'm not going to have anything. Yeah, but it can be sorted. I don't think it can be sorted. If they're taking it, how can it be sorted? We'll pay it and get it back. Well, you'll pay it, not we. I might need you out. Initially, when we turned up, saw a scan your truck. Brilliant. And then, Tony turned up with his 4 before. We got that as well. Good result. Oh, yes. Scan your keys. Something's got to be sorted, isn't it? So he's got a... Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell, he's got the car. Car's up for repossession as well, mate. Not a chance. Do you want the warrant for that one? Oh, and also, H, spare set of keys. <laughs> for Scania. Cheers for that. What? How have you got a spare set of keys to my wagon? In case you didn't pay. I'll take you back. Yeah, I don't. But I don't pay. Oh, spare keys. I'll tell you every time, I'll tell you what, you, I shouldn't have ever, ever had anything from you. Uh, let's have a look at this paper. Yeah. Car to the car. Car to the car. That's it. That's I don't really care what it is, I don't mind. H, do you want to get these? Is there nothing we can do about the wagon? I'm not going to leave my embassy No, it's nothing. Mate, if you've got the keys, it's a lot better if you just give us the keys. All right, at the end of the day, right, if I take that car to auction now, right, that will go to auction and it'll get put in a non-runner section. When it gets put in a non-runner section, it'll get put, sold for peanuts, okay? Because yep. people don't know what's wrong with it. If we take the car now, it goes in the runner section, or we take it straight to a main dealer, depending on what the finance company want to do with it. So if you give us the keys, fine. If not, we get paid the same. It's like who's hooked up, I can take that wherever now. I get paid the same. It's only you what's going to lose out. People think they're doing us a misjustice when they don't give us a key. Yeah, give us a keys. It's going to be easier for you if you give us a key. Lucky for him, this guy saw sense and gave us a keys to a four before. Are you sure? All right, Stu, whereabouts are you? All right. Just sat at the end of the road. All right, I'll bring it down to you. All right, cheers. I'll be in a minute. All right. Just wait for this, H. I'm going to drop the truck down to him. Driving the truck wasn't a problem to me. I've got my class one, class two. I can drive anything. I mean, I've drove loads of things in the past. Buses, coaches, bulldozers, you name it, I've drove it. Apology doesn't get my stock delivered. I will try and sort it out today. 
when I got in, cab inside, nice, nice cab, nice trapped unit. Person had obviously looked after it, hence he didn't want it going. Don't need a low loader now. I've got the keys. Just hand it over to Stu. Stu can drive it back. Yeah. This old boy having a go. Yeah. <laughs> Big old boy down yeah. there. Yeah. Having a right throw around. You seem to think it's all a bit of a, a joke. Yeah. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the one that's lost out. Walk here. back. I've left my driver down there. So yeah. that's all yours. No problem. See you later. Okay. Get this gone before he starts kicking up a fuss again. Paul had trusted Tony in this instance. But you should never trust anyone when you're leasing, renting, hiring, anything. If you're giving large amounts of money each month, there's loads of sites you can go on, do a check, cost you a couple of quid. Bloody hell, why have I always got the long walk home? Bloody BH for a change.